Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be looking at how to create a custom drum fill when using the drummer track. So first of all, when you're using the drummer track, you have these mustard colored regions and you set up all your patterns over here with your beat presets. You can change some of that here with the simple complex loud soft matrix. We can even do some stuff over this in this area here. We have our fill knob which tells us how many fills or how often fills. We can lock that down. There's not a lot of repeatability here, meaning there's not like a set amount. There's no little tick marks or numbers. It's kind of a percentage thing, which makes it a little bit difficult when we want to get a fill exactly how we want it. So I'm going to show you how to do this a little bit. First of all, let's listen to the section we're going to do this at the end of this verse as it goes into the chorus. I smooth so that's the fill that got put in here with the the amount that's set down here on the fill knob but i want to customize it there's a few things we can do first and so what i want to do first is actually before anything else i want to come through here and make this into a whole new playlist. So let's come down. We're going to customize our track header components. I want to turn on track alternatives. So let's do a duplicate. That way I, it leaves my original just as it is. I can always get back to that. With the drummer track, sometimes when you're making changes, it's hard to go back and replicate. So making a, an alternate like that is actually pretty smart. Next thing I want to do is use my scissor tool. We're going to cut that little section. We're going to do, a, like I think it's a whole bar here into a new region. You're going to see it gets updated. So it may or may not be what I want. And you're going to see that did a few things. One of them is... It updated this other whole section and added a fill right at the end of it. So I want to make sure I come back to an earlier section and turn down fills because I don't want to have a, a random fill in there. So now we have that under control back to having less fills you're going to see the, how this really transforms the whole thing. This is one way of doing it, and we're going to go back and show you another way in just a minute. But now, with this, I actually want to click on this, and we're going to turn up the fills all the way. So now I can really experiment more with this one if I want and get a sense for what the automatic fills that it's going to do. I just turned this left region all the way down. We could come through and adjust the length here if we want to shorten the fill. It's already more what I envisioned from the original version of this, but perhaps it's not still exactly what we want. We're going to change the length one more time. Say that that's exactly what we wanted, or we still want to continue tweaking it. One other way we can do this, we're going to add a software instrument track. And up in here, you can see we're using the scientific method drum kit. So we're going to load the drum kit designer. And when we have that loaded, we're going to come through scientific method kit. So now we have the same kit in both of these tracks. I'm going to drag our fill down into the other drum kit, the drum kit designer instrument track. Now it won't sound exactly the same because we don't have all the effects that we have on this one, but it converted to MIDI. We could just copy those effects over. We could then come through and adjust this fill however we want, change it up, say that we wanted to do 
more with these here or so let's actually do that real quick let's shorten these up about half I'm going to option click on them and space them out okay we can't really hear it right this moment let's solo it out okay not necessarily what we wanted but the cool thing we can do is actually once we're done with that let's just put that back how it was we can drag this MIDI file back up into our drummer track because essentially this is a drummer track with MIDI it just also has the drummer regions so we can continue to use it then in fact one of the things you can do once you get a pattern how you like it so let's actually go back to our a version for a moment if we wanted to just work with this one we could drag this whole thing down and back up and now we take that original pattern we have and we can change any of the MIDI notes we want and it's still controlling going through all the same effects we just lose access to this interface down here so at some point if you have a pattern that you think is pretty close then go ahead make it into MIDI and you can continue to customize it however you like that's one of the great things about the drummer track is that you're not really locked into this format you can use MIDI files just as they are as well combining them so you could actually have a whole pattern that you've programmed out with MIDI and then just add a few different sections with the actual drummer interface they're, they're interchangeable in a way now once you go to MIDI you can never get back which is why having the alternate version is actually really useful for this so keeping that in there having both of them that's actually pretty useful once you have a baseline then you can branch out with these other alternate versions and do whatever you want to get the exact drum pattern you want okay hope this was useful let me know in the comments if this is how you're using the drummer track if you knew that this was possible but we're doing a couple more videos this week so stay tuned make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell otherwise just hope you're having a great week